what's up everybody? We're, uh, we're at Milestone MX Park out here in November. A uh, beautiful day. They recently redone the whole track, so it's an all new track. And we've got this 2016 KX450F, and this bike's all new, and it's probably the best handling Cowie they've ever made. We're excited to try to make some improvements to the bike and see what we can do to, to make it better. The area that we can improve the bike the most is the handling. And we want this bike to handle better, handle closer to some of the other brands. So what we tried to do is we tried first some different offset triple clamps. We went with our 20s. That was a setup that I thought was pretty good. The next change we made is we went with a show of steering dampener. We just want to address the slightly hinged, tall sensation that the Cowie has. It's just kind of an inherent trait that the bike has stopped. So the last thing we did to try to make the bike turn as good as it can is we actually wanted to take some weight off. And we did that with a few different items. We did that with the FMF titanium exhaust system, Think Technology lightweight seat foam, added our, our triple clamps and our other little small accessories. And the last little thing we did is we added aluminum hardware kit that holds on the, the, the plastics. These changes netted a weight savings of a little over four pounds. The FMF exhaust, in addition to being light, it actually freed up the exhaust system. Renthal sent us a rocket and we, we went with a one tooth bigger rear. On suspension, we worked very closely with Factory Connection. We did a lot of testing on this bike. It was a new bike for them as well. And we think we came up with a good setting. We added our billet brake caliper and we added some braided steel brake lines. And that, combined with the 270 rotor, really gave us a, an overall strong braking package. So the sum of all these changes, we have a 227-pound KX450F. It's, it's the same weight as the new KTM. And we're going to go ahead and send Sean Lepanovich out on the track to ride it and give us his feedback. Up. This is Sean Lepanovich. I'm currently a professional racer. Um, I just opened my own business called SLMX School. I train riders. I currently own a 2016 Cowie 450. Just comparing its stock with ride engineering, the, the new clamps definitely make the bike turn a lot better. I noticed when I want to turn compared to the stock ones, this bike with the clamps along with the steering dampener, it goes where, where I want to put it. 2016 stock OEM brakes are, are okay. When we switched out to the ride engineering ones, it definitely stops a lot faster. There. As you grab it, it has a progressive feel to it. The rear brake line, for me, was actually too touchy. Um, I like the front brake to be really touchy and the, the back one not as bad, but um, every, every person's riding style is different. I'm a firm believer of good brakes. You have good brakes, you can go a lot faster and stop when you want. The KX450 out of the box is definitely a fast bike. You throw the FMF exhaust on and it wakes up the bike, brings out the bottom end, the top end, mid, everything all around better bike when you throw this pipe on. The bike with the factory connection suspension um, definitely felt plush and planted. Got through the sections with ease and rolled right through. Overall, the Kawasaki 2016 450 is a, is a great bike. With these ride engineering components we put on, definitely an all-around better package. 